Here in this video, I'm going to expand and simplify where possible these expressions here. Now, I've used um, lots of different examples here. They have very small differences between them. And you can see different ways that we're going to have to work out these ones. Now, here, we won't actually simplify any of them afterwards because none of them will simplify after expanding. But the next set of examples, you will require simplifying. So, first one, what we do is we always use the distributive law as well here. Okay, so this thing here on the outside multiplies to each thing inside. And then we're going to get some terms here. So, this is going to be identically equal to, so using the three lines there, 3 times 2a, so 3 the f times 2a, that would give us 6a. And 3 times 5, so remember 3 needs to multiply to each thing, so 3 times 5 now. And this is a positive 5, so 3 times positive 5 is positive 15. Now the next time, next one, we've got um, an a here instead of a number. And this time, a times a is a squared. So I can write that down, a squared. And instead of an add, like I had last time, I've got take away. So a times negative 3, we can think of it. So this is a little bit like a add a negative 3. So a times negative 3 is negative 3a. And I can just write this as take away 3a here. Now the next one, I've got a letter and a number. Now this is one item here I'm going to look at. So I'm going to treat this like one thing, and this is going to multiply to each thing inside. So 4a will multiply to 5, and 4a will multiply to 3a. So 4a multiplied by 5 is 20a. And 4a multiplied by 3a, well, I can multiply the numbers together, and a times a is a squared, and it's a positive here. So 4 times 3 is 12, so plus 12a squared. Now, the next one, this time I've got a and I've got b here as well. So this time I've got 2a needs to multiply to each thing here. Remember, this is negative 2b. So 2a times 3a is 6a squared. And then 2a multiplied by negative 2b, that's negative 4ab. So negative 4ab. Okay, that's because 2 times negative 2 here is negative 4. A times B is A, B like that. This time I've got a number here, but this number is negative. So negative 5. Negative 5 multiplied by 4A. So negative 5 multiplied by 4A is negative 20A. And then negative 5 times positive 3 is negative 15. Okay, and that's that one done. Next one, negative A times 2b, so negative a times 2b will give me a negative answer, so that would be negative, and then a times 2b is 2ab. And I also have to do negative a times negative a, well negative a times negative a will give me a positive answer, and a times a is a squared. So notice that the negative a times negative a is positive a squared here. And the last one, we have um, negative 2ab multiplied by 3. That's negative 6ab. We have negative 2ab multiplied by positive 5. So that's going to give me a negative answer. And this will be 2 times 5 is 10. ab times b is a and then b squared. Okay, so it's going to be negative 10a and then b squared. So with these examples, I will actually need to expand and then simplify because there will be a number of things where I will have like terms and then these like terms will need to be put together. So let's start by expanding this one. So expanding this one will be 4 times 5a and 4 times 2. So 4 times 5a will give me 20a. 4 times 2 is plus 8. And then the takeaway 3a is still there. This is part of the original expression that I had, so I need to put the takeaway 3a here. And now I can collect the like terms where I've got 20a and takeaway 3a. These two, when they go together, we get 17a. And the plus 8, we can't really put that together with the a's here. So that's the final answer there. Now here I've got two things that I'm going to have to expand and then um, put them together. So first one is 3 times 2a and 3 times 5. So we have 3 times 2a is 6a, 
3 times 5 is 15. Then I've got, I'm going to think of this as a positive 2. So positive 2 times 1 is positive 2. And positive 2 times 5a is positive 10a. So plus 10a. Now I need to collect the like terms. So 6a and 10a go together. They make 16a. And the 15 and the 2 together will make 17. Now the next example, um, I have a subtraction here in the middle. But this subtraction, I'm going to treat it as a negative 2, which I'm going to multiply to each of those. Okay? So the first bit is 5 times 3a. So 5 times 3a, we have 15a. And 5 times 1 is plus 5. Now I'm going to treat this like a negative 2. So negative 2 times 2a is negative 4a. And then negative 2 times the 7 is negative 14. Okay, so notice how this negative 2 and this positive 7 together made a negative answer here. Now I've got 15a take away 4a. So 15a take away 4a leaves me with 11a. And if I have plus 5 and take away 14, in the end that's like take away 9. Okay, so take away 9. So plus 5 and then take away 14, that's a negative 9 or take away 9 here. And the last example... So this one is different from this one because there's a takeaway here, and which had to take this one had a takeaway here as well. But I got a plus here and a takeaway here, so that's one thing that's different about it. The other thing is that there's an a and a number, a and a number here. Okay, so we've got three a times seven a, so three a times seven a, that's going to give me twenty one a squared. Then I have three a times negative four, that's negative twelve a. I'm going to treat this like a negative 2a. So negative 2a multiplied to each of these things. So negative 2a times positive 3a is negative 6a squared. And then negative 2a multiplied by negative 5 is positive, so positive 10a. So notice that this negative 2a multiplied by the negative 5 gave me a positive answer, and this is 10, positive 10a. Now I can um, collect the like terms. So 21a squared and the negative 6a squared, they go together, and they give me 15a squared. And the negative 12a and the plus 10a, so negative 12a, so go back 12 and then go up 10 again, and I finish at negative 2a. Okay, so that is expanded and simplified. Now here are some for you to try, so you've got to expand and simplify where possible.